So, gentlemen, how would you rate the wellbeing budgets out of 10 and why? Oh. When I went to primary school, you used to get reports that said could try harder. I think I'd give it a sort of a, if I was at university, a C maybe. That's a f sort of five or six out of 10. Sort of good first start. Shame you don't have a framework, but keep trying. Boy, Derek's a hard marker. I'm glad I'm not in one of his classes. Um, um, we've had great inflation, I'm afraid, since you were at university, uh, Derek, as well. Um, but, um, <laughs> so, no, I mean, I think it was a genuine attempt at doing something that was an improvement um, on some things that we'd seen before. It was um, very much an attempt rather than a finished, uh, finished article. Uh, and, you know, I'd rate it somewhere in the Bs, you know, between a B plus and a, and a B minus, because I think it actually set some um, folky uh, there in terms of the budget policy statement of what they were going to try and achieve. I think they direct most of the new expenditures to that. Um, so, and it's not really up to us as non-politicians to say, this is what you should be concentrating on. I and mean, I think they genuinely, you know, saw mental health, child poverty, um, Maori Pacific outcomes as being very important. And I think, you know, climate change, I think that's, that's great. Um, and then they went about and did something about it. So, you know, they could have done a lot better, but they did genuinely address the questions they set out for themselves. And for me, uh, my school reports all contain the word interesting. Uh, and I would say that that applies to the, to, to the wellbeing budget as well. What I've taken away from this conversation is that kind of long-term goal that actually we could potentially get to a world where we know that if we spend a dollar here, we get five units of happiness, and if we spend a dollar over here, we get half a unit of happiness. And, and hopefully, if happiness is what we're really concerned with, which I'm still questioning after this conversation, but if that is what we're after, we'll see money shift from those low-performing areas to the high-performing areas, and we'll all be happy! Hooray! Thank you very much uh, to Derek Gill and Arthur Grimes.